So this is what you will need for this video. You will need a bit of timber cut to length, mine's already cut. You will need a combi drill with a masonry bit in your preferred size, um, obviously for the size of your tanks. You will need some wood stain. Um, I've got black here, but you can use normal paint. A paintbrush, a pencil, and a ruler. Once you cut your timber to your preferred length, um, to, we'll need to mark the center of this bit of timber. Um, now there's two ways of doing it. You can either grab your ruler and put it this side, and measure to this side, um, and then obviously just half it, and that'll be your center. Um, or a quicker way to do it is, if you put your finger here, with the pencil pushed down in the middle, mark that center bit there, and all you've got to do is keep your finger pushed along there, and as you can see, it roughly stays in the center, all the way down, like so. And that is roughly your center um, that's just my preferred way of doing it um, it's just a bit easier um, so yeah okay so once you mark the center of your timber we're going to use the ruler as a spacer for our tanks so all you've got to do is put this wood in the middle like so get your ruler put it on the very edge of that wood draw down and then the exact same thing put the ruler on that edge of that line and then draw down you're going to do this the whole way across the timber like so okay so now we've uh, marked out the lines for our spaces for our tanks you will need the combi with the masonry drill bit to your preferred size and obviously we've got the uh, center line going through here so we're going to put it on the center here on that cross and drill down just round it out a little bit and that's it don't go all the way through um just a little bit will do and uh, yeah you're going to do this the whole way down this bit of timber okay so now you've drilled your holes for your tanks you're going to need the wood stain or paint i've got black here so choose your color and you're also going to need your paintbrush. All we're going to do is just paint this whole bit of timber, um, leave it to dry, and then uh, it should be done. Okay, and we've let this dry off, and here you go. This is the vape tank holder DIY. As you can see, looks pretty cool. And there's the finished product, guys. We've got the grey tanks next to the black tanks.